All right, guys, we're just going to go over the last couple problems of the review book, flip book. So I'm going to start with uh, 57 and move on, move on from there. So with all these, I've been starting with an XY chart. It's just what I seem to like the best. Um, there's other ways to do it, but I just think this is the easiest. So I'm going to make an XY chart. Um, and because this is Y equals 2, I get to pick whatever I want for X. And then Y automatically has to be negative 4. So when I do that, I go neg I go negative one up to f down to four. I put a dot. Zero negative four. One negative four. So that's how I remember without having to remember um, y equals. Does that mean left, right, or up or down? That's how I double check and make sure. I, I thought ahead of time why I was going to be a left and right line. Um, there's no, that means no slope by the way. All right. There's no slope. It does not rise at all. Alright, that's it for 57. Alright, so 58, very similar, make it an XY chart to start. Now, because because this says X equals, that means I have to put 1 in here for X. I don't have a choice. But the good news is I get to pick whatever I want for Y. So, X equals 1. I go 1, negative 1, put a dot. 0, or 1, 0, put a dot. 1, 1, put a dot. It shows me that it's an up and down line there. This is a slope that is undefined. There's no run, it's an undefined slope. All right. All right, 59 gives you two points. They want you to find a slope. So they have negative 4, negative 9, and 2, 6. To find the slope, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Doesn't matter which one you call it, I'll call this one x1, y1, x2, y2. So I'm going to go 6 minus negative 9 all over 2 minus negative 4. 6 minus negative 9 is uh, 15. Make sure, guys, if you're going to plug it in your calculator, the whole thing, I wouldn't recommend it. I would just say do the top by itself and the bottom. But if you are going to do that, put it in all in parentheses. So you get 15 over 6. Divide the top and bottom by th uh, 3. I end up with 5 halves. So I think that's your best answer, m equals 5 halves. I would also take 2.5 or 2.5, but I think 5 halves is the best answer. 60, same exact concept, this time we have negative 10, 6, and negative 3, negative 1. This time I'll call this one x2, y2, just show you it doesn't matter, and this one's x1, y1. So I'm going to have m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I put 6 in right here and negative 10 in right there. So I have 6 minus negative 1 all over negative 10 minus negative 3. 6 minus negative 1, that's like 6 plus 1, so I get 7. Negative 10 minus a negative 3, that's like negative 10 adding 3, so I get negative 7, which means my slope is going to be negative 1. That's it for 60. All right, 61, we have 3, negative 2, and negative 1, negative 2. So same thing, we'll find a slope. I have m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, so I'm going to say this is x1, y1. This is x, x2, y2. So I'm going to put negative 2 minus negative 2 all over negative 1 minus 3. So I end up with 0 over negative, negative 4, which means m is 0. Basically, guys, that's going to be a uh, that's going to be a horizontal line. Y equals some sort of number. All right. Actually, I could probably say y equals negative 2. That's it for 61. Same thing. I have m equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So there's x1, y2, x2, y1. Um, so I'm going to have 8 minus 5 all over negative 4 minus 5. I end up with 3 over negative 9, which is my slope's going to be negative 1 third. 
And that's it for 62. All right, so 63, they say that the line passes. through negative 6, 1, and the slope is 1 fourth. Now, slope-intercept form looks like this, where this is the slope, and that's the intercept. This is an x and a y. So if I plug all this in to the problem, I can be able to find b, and then I can find the equation of line. So I'm going to put negative 6 is going to go in for x. I'm, I'm going to put y equals my slope is 1 fourth, so I'm going to put 1 fourth here. And I'm going to put negative 6 here, plus b. I'm going to multiply 1 fourth times negative 6. I'm going to end up with negative 3 halves, plus b. I'm going to add 3 halves to both sides. So I have b equals. 1 plus 3 halves is going to be 5 halves, or 2.5, or 2 and a half. So the equation of my line is going to be y equals 1 fourth x plus 5 halves. Sometimes in, uh, in slope intercept form, I like mixed numbers. If you want to put 2 and a half, that's fine. That's it for 60 here. So when it just says passes through two points, first you have to find slope, and you have to find b, and then you can get the equation of line. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my slope. So I'm going to do, um, this is my x2, y2, this is my x1, y1. I'm going to do negative 7 minus 13 all over 2 minus negative 2. Negative 7 minus 13 is going to become negative 20. All over 2 minus negative 2 is going to become positive 4. Now I'm going to end up with negative 5 as my slope. That's my m. Now it doesn't matter which one you pick. I'm going to pick this one for my x and my y. So I'm going to say y equals mx plus b. I'm going to put negative 7 here. I'm going to put negative 5 for my slope, 2 for my x, and I don't know b. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10 plus b equals negative 7. I add 10 to both sides, so b is equal to 3. So that means my slope, I have a b, I have an m. You can say y equals negative 5x plus 3. And that's my equation line. All right, 65, uh, put it in slope-intercept form first so you can find the slope. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in slope-intercept form so I can just find the slope. So I'm going to minus x from both sides to get the y by itself. I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. Make sure you divide everything by 3. So I get y equals negative 1 third x plus 10 thirds. That's the slope. Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocals for slope. So if that's negative one third, the slope of a of a perpendicular line would be positive three because So to finish 65, you have to know perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. That means two numbers that multiply to equal negative 1. So if my slope is negative 1 third, I've got to multiply by something to get negative 1. Well, I'm going to put 3. So that's the slope, that's the slope of the second line. And you can put whatever, whatever uh, in, intercept you want. So you can say y equals 3x plus 2. They're perpendicular, and that's it for 65.